All right, guys. Well, well, we stay in first place after today, man. What a win over the Boston Celtics. Revenge, revenge, revenge for the game that we lost. And they handed us our first loss. Uh, the only team not named the Atlanta Hawks to beat us, where we shot 40% from three against them today. So, sweet revenge, sweet revenge, sweet revenge. I will never, I don't care how we do it, I'll never complain about beating the Boston Celtics. F*** the Boston Celtics, man. I can't stand them. Can't stand, can't stand them. So, any victory against them feels good. Um, but, you know... Anyway, we're eighteen and three. We uh, they were they were they were creeping up on us. Not gonna lie, those two losses against Atlanta, those were tough. Those were some tough L's. But um, I'm just very glad that we were able to you know just fight. You know today, you know I mean we're down fourteen in the third, and then Donovan Mitchell goes berserk, man. So, Cavs eighteen and three. Very very happy to see that. But anyway, let's dive into it, man. So we ended Boston's seven game winning streaks. This dude had twenty points in the fourth quarter. He ended the game with thirty five. We had. In the final quarter, we were down 12 points. 14 in the third, yes, but we were down 12 points in the third. And then this dude just goes crazy. I mean, the Cavs went berserk from three. I, like I said, they shot 40%. Yeah, 48%, I apologize. Um, they're shooting 40% 40% this season from three, which is just outstanding. Um, we'll see if they can maintain it. I'm sure they can. But, you know, they're on, a, they're on a hot streak right now from the arc. So you love to see that, man. Um I'm, I'm very relieved that the Cavs exist. I really wanted to do an OSU Michigan recap. I was going to have that out. But honestly, I figured, like, I just want to come on here. I was going to make a Cavs one the day after. But I'm like, I really want to talk something positive. You know, the Bengals are not doing well. And I'm tired of kind of ma making too much negative, you know, videos. I, I kind of want to I want to come on here and be happy. And uh, the Cavs are making me very happy um, right now. I'm not going to lie to you. It's just been a tough year for football in general because, you know, losing to Michigan always hurts. Bengals lose, lose to the Steelers today. That's all. That's also tough. So it's it's great to see the Cavs also beat up on their rival. So one and two on rivalry week. I'll take this win, of course. But you know, just a great, great showing from you know all their players. I mean, the free throws even. The, you got to give everybody some credit. I mean, George Niang catching <coughs> that inbound from Darius Garland. That was that was that was that that scared me. You know, Peyton Pritchard that three that he hit that made it a one point game. I believe that scared the crap out of me because. I'm like now, okay. Now you got to quickly foul, and then even if you hit both free throws, you know they got opportunity for a three. So I mean, what I'm saying, man, Donovan Mitchell is an MVP candidate this year. When's the last time? Like obviously last year in the playoffs, but you can never say like well, I don't remember the last time that building has heard chance like that in a while. You'd have to go back to the LeBron days to hear even like you know, like that. Obviously LeBron would hear it all the time, but it's so re refreshing to see, you know, one of our guys. After the, you know, the kind of the BS that we went through for those four years when he left. Um, and just the amount of, like, just uh, turmoil, I guess, and head coaching changes. Or uh, head coach, I said, you know, yeah, head coaching changes. Um, everything that we've been through is just so relieving. And we deserve it, man. We've been through a lot. Darius Garland as well. I mean, his free throw percentage today just obviously perfect it was so huge we needed that this, this dude you know the media likes to make stories you know especially a, a small market team so you know they always said that it was you know the, the the tension between these guys that's that was a talk coming into even this season you guys can kiss off these dudes are really balling and it's just so refreshing to see i mean our defense has been outstanding locked up obviously yeah the pit pritchard had some big threes but man this team locked down Boston. I mean, Al Horford shot, I believe, like nine threes. I mean, I'm going to attribute that to being Al Horford not being a great three-point shooter either. But the defense was still great. I give all the credit in the world to them, man. It's just refreshing to see as a fan. And these are the things you want to see. You just want to see fighting against the top-tier rival. Um, you know, there's a difference, you know, between my football team. I mean, the, the my NFL team, you know, they... Start good, and then they just fall off the wheels. They don't fight till the end. Donovan Mitchell and the Cavs, man. They, I mean, they start slow, yeah. They get punched in the mouth, but they can take a punch. The Bengals cannot. Unfortunately, I'm talking about them because it is later that day, but I'm done talking about them, man. I, I don't want to come on here and talk about the Cavs. Um, I just want to mention the Bengals. Just throw a couple dicks in there here and there. But, you know, reg regardless, man, regardless, it is freshing. It is amazing to see that. You know, that this team just continues to fight, fight, fight. And I've got to say this. 
we are contenders for this Eastern Conference. We got to figure out Atlanta. This is kind of a half joke, but we, we need to figure out Atlanta. I mean, they beat us. I believe we beat them twice last year, but they beat us in all four. Like they beat us in like I think all four regular season matchups. Like, I, I mean, they, the the play in, yeah, okay, but that counts, I guess. But I don't know. Outside of that, I don't know. It, they just seem to have our number. It's crazy. Not the play in. I apologize. The NBA Cup. We beat them in the NBA Cup. I do remember that. But they beat us the last two times. Um, yeah, they they. We just need to figure them out. I mean, Trey Young goes berserk every time, and um, you know, it's just some of that we, we got to work on. I mean, they they obviously the Trey Young's a hell of a player, but you know, from 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 positives, I mean, Mitchell Garland they're leading the way. Evan Mobley has been playing great on the, the you know the defensive side of the ball, and then the he's slowly just becoming you know an assist target for you know him with Jared Allen in the paint. They've just been killing it and. You know, I mean, Darius Garland has gotten, you know, his assist numbers higher. Um, Donovan Mitchell is just building chemistry. And give that, give a lot of credit to Coach Kenny, man. You deserve it, man. I mean, like I said, I I, I sound like a broken record when I say this, but Brooklyn should not have <laughs> fired this, man. He could have done way better than Steve Nash. And, you know, albeit Steve Nash is also dealing with two weirdos in KD and Kyrie, but we're getting depth from role players as well. Um, you know, we're... We're we're just finding a lot of a finding very a very good groove that is because I I feel like the one thing that this team has been lacking you know over the last couple of years is consistent bench play I think every Cavs fan knows that to, like you know that that's the thing that we've been lacking and searching for you know a long time and you know to see like the the team just continue to get better 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 as far, especially like. I guess a top tier like I said a top tier East I mean these are these are two teams that are gonna be duking it out you know, for this uh, Eastern Conference. And, you know, I mean, you know, Jalen Tyson, he had, you know, he played four minutes, he didn't score. But, you know, George Niang also is playing, you know, great. Keller Slavert, you know, he made some clutch throw, you know, have shots. Ty Jerome is a stud. He didn't have a great game today, but Sam Merrill as well, got to give him some credit. Um, it is interesting. I mean, Craig Porter Jr., he didn't play. I, I would love to see more of him. Tristan as well. Um yeah, we're all a team, man. I, I I have to. I just have to give them credit. You know, they, 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 they've been leading the way big time, and they, they just aware of like you know they're, they're the in game situations, and they just seem they just seem like they know what they're they're doing, man. So great to end a two game slide against Atlanta. Um, figure them out. You got Washington tomorrow. I'm gonna say this though. One of my concerns, not concerns, but we got to reduce some of the turnovers in tight game situations against Atlanta. Yeah, of course. The bench needs to step up more a little bit. You know, we got to get everybody involved. I mean, it was, I don't want to say top heavy, but it was like, you know, you could definitely. But we host Washington, you know, tomorrow. And, you know, like I said, Boston, Milwaukee, even Philly, dear I say. I mean, it's, it's still early in the season, guys. They could definitely figure something out. Um, you know, I know they're going through a lot of turmoil with Embiid and Paul George and all that. But, you know, the consensus right now, talking to... I don't want, maybe I, I, I'll take this back. I won't say maybe the Magic, but the consensus is, you know, the, the Knicks and Boston would definitely beat Cleveland. Um, you know, I, I, I agree. I mean, I'm not going to say I agree completely, but it's like, you know, we I, I could see that, you know, happening. But you now I was just, you know, Mad Dog on first take. I saw a clip. He said, like, yeah, well, the Knicks would beat him. I mean, they just, right now I think he has them as the third best team. I would say, yeah, they're the second best team, second First, but I mean, I think the Knicks struggles right now. I'm going to put Cleveland ahead. I'm going to put us ahead. But, you know, just got to continue to get better, and the chemistry is just going to develop. I mean, Kenny Atkinson, let's face it, he's still figuring these dudes out. Um, And, yeah, honestly, like, if, if it comes down to, like, who I think tightens up in late-game situations, I could definitely see the Cavs, you know, in the Eastern Finals, potentially the NBA Finals. I would love to see this team make another Finals run, man. It would be, it would just be beautiful. It's like... We we haven't obviously we, we went in uh twenty eighteen was our last year we went it would be like okay now you, you everybody forgets about the Cavs it's like oh nope they're back it it just be beautiful and um you know honestly if I'm being honest with you guys I think it's 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 not gonna be like like right now I have I hate to say this but I have Boston like if they play let's play right now I would say Boston beats us maybe in six games but Cavs could definitely push them to seven of course. But I really think as the season unwinds, and that's why it's a marathon, man. It's an 82-game, you know, marathon. 
Uh, it ain't a sprint. And, you know, that's why I say this team could be at the top of the East in terms of chemistry. You know, maybe they make something, some moves in the, you know, the dead. I don't know. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, everything that everything that's going well, it's fresh to see, but it's like, we can, we just got to continue to get better. I mean, we can't be too fat and happy, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, just keep it going, man. That's all my messages as a fan. Just excited right now about this team. Um, and Cavs are legit contenders. They're building momentum for a hopeful deep playoff run. Keep on rallying behind this team, man. They're 18-3. and three. Got Washington tomorrow. Let's get a dub. And then I think, I believe we got Denver. So that'll be an interesting game. You know, they've, they've also been struggling a little bit. You know, Jamal Murray, Nicole Jokic, and then they've kind of been, they're still figuring stuff out. Um you know, to start the year, but it's been 21 games, man. I can't believe it, but we are, uh, we're in the mix, you know, for a top seed in the, the, or the top seed in the Eastern Conference. We currently sit there, so great to see as a fan, man. Let's go, Cavs. Let them know, and screw the Celtics. I'm so glad we beat them. You guys have a great one, and uh, go Cavs!